So it was a cut off corner with all our dirty clothes. And, and I was digging in there trying to find something to wear. And I came across a spoon and a, and a pipe. And the tip was burnt. And, you know, I showed my brother. And my brother's like, no, that ain't nothing. Don't worry about it. But then I looked back and he goes upstairs to talk to my dad. And so then we had another court date. And they was like, what's been going on at home? And I told him I found a crack pipe and everything. And, and so this is where they finally stopped that. And they was like, enough is enough. These kids need to get out of here. And that's when they was like, yeah. And they told us to leave. And so um, the Hennepin County came and got us. And that's when we went into our first foster home. It's an essential longing. And frankly, it's a birthright of all of us to know who we are, where we come from. And until you know that, it is very hard to know where you will be going. New Family Services is an organization that is working to dramatically reduce the number of kids in out-of-home care by creating a world in which no child must live with a stranger. We developed the goal in 2006 to be the last placement prior to permanence for 90% of the kids we served. So we founded our own national research project in cooperation with the Foster Family Based Treatment Association, Casey Family Boys and Girls Town, and Presley Ridge. After three years, we found that the national rate of discharge to permanence among this elite group of agencies was 45%. So when we started in 2006, we were at 38%. And the last six months of last fiscal year, we were at 70%, which is nationally leading. My name is Amelia Frank Meyer. We're at the a New Family Services St. Paul office, and I'm the chief executive officer at Anu. Connection is essential to everyone's survival, and so uh, really, people who aren't connected, people who don't have um, affection, actually fail to thrive and die. It's that essential. So there's really uh, four things we do to address this. Uh, one is that we attend to the youth grief, loss, and trauma. We also do exhaustive search, which is essential to the healing of relational trauma. You must have loving, stable connections. In addition, we teach the caregivers how to parent in a trauma-informed way. And the last piece is the use of integrative healing services. We really have come to believe that the majority of our kids cannot benefit from talk therapy as a first round intervention. I have to be as vulnerable as my youth are being with me because I'm there saying to them, you don't have to carry the pain alone anymore. I'm here to carry it with you. And they're not gonna let me do anything near them or touch their pain unless they believe that. I am Brenda Anderson and I am an intensive permanent specialist with the New Family Services. Sometimes I felt like, yeah, I'm going down the wrong road. I'm just like my dad. Then another part of me was like, wait, I'm the baby of 11 kids. Everybody else in my family didn't kind of make it, so I have to break the chain. It was, it was, it was sad with the things she did, but then I came to realize, like, is this really what I want? In and out of jail, on crack, no. So I started to change the guy in the sports and just changed change my whole outlook on life. I'm Tom Stone, uh, my kids who've been through hell and back. And so she came along and helped me find a family. She came along and helped me deal with uh, basically my mentor for a long time about stuff I'm dealing with. So she was kind of like that extra support that I always needed. I couldn't find in nobody else. I'm here because I can't be anywhere else. It's, it's indelibly etched into the fiber of my being. It is in the DNA of this organization. Once you get this, once you know better, you have to do better. We have seen amazing things happen when we get it right. I know that the story is going to help other youth saying, okay, we know you came come from a troubled past, but that doesn't determine who you are and that doesn't determine your future. And so, like I said, sometimes I walk down here just to see like where I came from, uh, what I've been through, and now where I'm at now. And it's a blessing.